Hey everybody, so here's what I've been working on. This is going to be the 3D printing lab, and I just built this yesterday and brought everything upstairs. So, about a week ago, I showed off these. And basically, what they are is they're just different shelving units. But what I'm doing right now is I'm attaching two magnets to each of these. So then a drop here, drop there, drop there, drop there put it wherever I want and everything's interchangeable. And then here is going to be all the filament, stuff that I'm building, whatever. So this is going to be the lab. And I put this track lighting over here. And it's pretty cool because this was just like a giant crawl space that before was unfinished. And I've just been working on turning it into something that's actually usable. Took the instruments down and I'm going to cover the wall all over here continuing with these. So basically what I'm doing here is I take two of these guys off like this. Just put a drop of the adhesive. This is extremely difficult to do one-handed. Flip it over and let it sit. So let these sit for a bit. And then what I'll do is I'll put a drop of adhesive in the four corners there, press it on the wall for about 10 or so seconds. And at that point, it'll stay. And then the more of these I add, the easier it gets. So now let's do a green one. So I'll take these, just put four of them over here. And I'll include a link in the description for anyone who's interested in making these yourself because it's just really cool storage. And you can build drawers as well. I'm just using them as shelving for now. So real quick, one, two, next thing I have to 3D print is a tripod, make this much easier. Get one of my hands back and four. And just flip them over. One. This one needs a little more. Two. What's amazing is if you buy Gorilla Glue, like super glue style, it's like four or five bucks. If you buy this construction grade adhesive, it's so much bigger. It works so much better. And it's huge. So this is like maybe $4 on Amazon. This is like five or so dollars. Look how small it is. And this works a lot better. So I've been using this. Anyway, I'm going to finish doing all these now. And then I'm going to find places. And the rest of the wall look like that. And I'll see where else I can put them. All right. Things aren't all hooked up yet, but this is the basic idea. I have the two different printers, places to store everything. This I'm going to organize a lot better, but you get the idea for now. And there you go. A real place to do 3D printing instead of just having stuff in the clutter. If you like the video, feel free to check out the rest. See Icy, like, subscribe, check out Twitter. There's always a lot of stuff going on over there. And please check out the GoFundMe campaign and share so we can create 3D printed prosthetic limbs for kids like these. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Be sure to follow my Twitter and check out my GoFundMe campaign to help raise money to 3D print prosthetic limbs for kids. Links in the description below.